Yo, what's going on? Volcano Beach, the Sampler King, live from the lab, Studio B, Pods and Pan Audio. Today I'm bringing you another one from Waves Audio, Vocal Bender. Came out a few days ago, I wanted to give myself a little time to digest it, and I can't say it's pretty nice. It's a little dope plug-in to add to the repertoire. It's kind of in the same vein as something like Alter Boy, but it gives you a little bit more options as far as adding a couple LFOs, some compression, little stuff like that inside of the plugin that you can do that'll keep you from having to put a couple extra plugins on top inside of the bus. So we're gonna get into all that, but first hit that like, hit that subscribe, and keep bringing you content like this dope plugin vocal bender. And without further ado, let's get into it. Let me show you how I will use it. Let's go. All right, let's get it going. Um, I got the plug-in pulled up, and basically it's just basic what we used to with things like Lil Alter Boy. It gives you control over pitch, up and down the octave, format, up and down the octave. You blend, you can lock the two. You got your fine two that lets you go basically, you does it in scenty tones now so you can get a little bit more precise. Um, this flattened thing is is kind of new. So it's basically a way for you to lock like a note in. So if you plan, I'm going to show it in a second when I go through the different parameters. But like you can lock it to a certain note and I'll show you what that does. We get into all the good stuff that Alter Boy can't compete with. Basically, um, you got your modulation. You got two option, two modulations. So you can do crazy things with two different like LFOs in here. Or you can use a sequencer with 16 notes each. It's up to you. You got two options. So you can have stuff going crazy in one direction and counter in another, which is nuts. Next, you got your amplitude. So you got your basically a compressor inside of here. So whatever you're doing doesn't get too crazy. And then next, you got your pitch. So basically, this affects this. Um, it basically smooths out or offsets or does whatever you want to whatever you're doing in the pitch part so yeah they work together so let's get into basically i got some vocals in here and like with all these plugins i don't know if people really understand is that it's not going to fix your pitch all it's going to do is pitch something up or down that you put into it so i got some auto tune going on my vocal first so it's not too horrible so let's just play it out real quick and i'm gonna pull the mix blend back and just gradually push it up and show you what this plugin is doing. You know we gotta get it. That's my auto Stack tune. Money to the ceiling. None of my That's the we gotta do. No, you know we gotta get it. Stack money to the ceiling. None of my What I got going on basically is just an LFO, like just moving the phase back and forth, going at a quarter note. You know we gotta get it. Stack money. A little bit of warp going. You can hear it in the vocal. You know we gotta get it. We'll push it to the extreme. Stack money to the ceiling. None of money. That one kind of like killed some of the highs and like kind of made it, but I wanted to sound a little extreme, so I'm gonna pull that back. And you got control over like the overall effect, basically. You can put it at 50%. Over the amplitude, I got the compressor going a little bit, so I'm not getting too crazy with my volume. So I'm going to back it off a little bit so you can get the original with the effect of signal. That's until we got a million. Now you know we got to get it. Stack money to the ceiling. So this is what this flatten does. 
none of my children. So you can put it at whatever note you That's want. That's until we got a million. This beat is um C minor, so I'm going to leave it at C. You know we got to get it. Stack money to the ceiling. I can put it to C3. C. It's at C2 now. That's until we got a million. Lord, you know we got to get it. Stack money to the ceiling. None of my children. Let me see where. Yeah, that's pretty that's cool that you can um basically have another option of how it sounds. But I don't really like it for this. I don't like that for this, but it's a good option. And like I said, it's pretty straightforward, man. There's really not a lot to it. It's just basically the next level of what like Alter Boy would have given us if it came out in 2021. So you got this matrix down here where you can like make the sound move. The only thing I would say, if you wanted to be a 100% Alter Boy killer, it should have had distortion in it. But I can't complain because this joint is pretty dope. It's, it's giving me basically like three or four different things in one. And I can't say the pitch is really smooth. It's a little bit smoother. Even though on a little Alter Boy, you got like like three, four options that like how you want the pitch to work. This, you don't really have that on here, but the pitch is smoother. Well, technically you do because you got this pitch, so you can control the pitch a little bit. But the pitch is a lot smooth on here. You know we gotta get it. Stack money to the city. None of my jail. That's until we gotta build it. Oh, you know we gotta get it. Stack money to the city. I like the voice a little bit more than my own. But yeah, like I said, I fed some auto tune into it, so it's not too bad. Yeah, and it's not much to this one, man. It's really not too much more than what I've shown. It's just basically a way to put some dope, a dope tool in your box. A lot of people, when Alter Boy came out, people slept on it. And as we've heard, it's been used millions of times <laughs> since then. And this is just like the evolution of it. All these parameters, you know my thing. Let me click that. That's why I love Ableton right here. It shows you exactly everything that's like easily MIDI mappable. So just about everything in the plugin, you can just map it easily. So that's pretty dope that you can. So if you can map it, you can modulate it, you can automate it. So you can do everything inside of here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, I think it's on sale right now. It just came out, man. Like I said, I wanted to give myself a few days working with it. I didn't want to just give a knee-jerk reaction to it. I wanted to give myself a little time to play around with it. I and definitely you know like we it, gotta get it. Gotta get it because of how smooth it sounds. Alter Boy isn't this smooth sometimes. Alter Boy is kind of harsh and rugged sometimes when it comes. It's according to the vocal. Like somebody like me that sucks. Where um when I'm putting these vocals into it through the auto tune, this same track Alter Boy probably would have been a little bit harsh on the pitch side, but it's perfect on here. You know we gotta get it. So there you have it, man. Waves Audio Vocal Bender. Um, it's a nice little plug in for what it's on sale for right now. It's definitely a must cop right now. Check it out. Got the link in the description. If you're feeling it, let me know. Hit me back. Let me know. How you using it? Is it better than Alter Boy to you? What you would use it for? Stuff like that. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Stick with me. Keep going, and we gonna keep it moving. Peace. You know we gotta get it.